Back with a sneaker review that I've kind of just been wanting to do like so bad. I've been I love these sneakers. I was very excited when I got them. Um, I just haven't done a video and just haven't gone to that uh, just around to it because I've just been so busy with work and school and stuff like that. But basically, I'm gonna show you the What the Kobe Eight, uh, a shoe that I picked up early this January. It originally released on December the fifth, two thousand and thirteen, or actually December the sixth, two thousand thirteen. I'm sorry about the date mix up right there. But basically, what the shoe is, it's it's all the mashup of the great colorways of the What the Kobe, the most memorable colorways and they mash them up into one sneaker. If you looked at it and you really don't know what these are, you'd probably think that I just took one shoe from another another pair and another shoe from another pair, and basically put them on my foot and said, I'm gonna rock these today, and they're two different shoes. There are some mixed opinions about these shoes. Some people liked it, some people loved it. I personally loved it, that's why I have them. <laughs> and I've actually worn them quite a few times already. Very comfortable. But I'm basically gonna get into these shoes and decipher them. Because if you look at the sneaker real quick, you can't really tell like the sneakers that make up the shoe unless you really look at them. So first I'm gonna look at the right sneaker right here. It's basically green, yellow, and red. And it's got a lot of stuff going on right here. So we're gonna start from the sole. The sole is translucent green. You got the Kobe logo right there. And then you got the carbon fiber that all the Kobe 8s have. And then it arches right here. If you go to the swoosh, the swoosh is yellow. And if you can see the detail right here, it's basically using the detail from the Area 72 Kobe 8. Um, they basically have the same textured pattern on the swoosh. Then you get to the mesh. Now the mesh is probably the hardest part to decipher because there's a lot going on here. There's probably like three different Kobe patterns going on here. The first one you can see right off the bat underneath the swoosh is the Christmas Kobe 8. I'm going to pop that picture up right there for you so you can see the pattern. You can see it right here. You can see it right there. And you can see it right here underneath the swoosh. As you go around, let me see if you can spot it again. You spot it again right here, close to the toe box. You see it again in the middle and again next to this inner swoosh. The next Kobe you will see that's deciphered is the Chris, uh, not the Christmas, the Easter Kobe pattern. It's got that snake skin right here. You see it again right here close to the eyelids where the laces sit. Um, you see it again working towards the toe box, working, working, working. You come again over here, and it's over here in the middle and right there. Last but not least, Kobe pattern you see is the Python Kobe. You can see this blotch coming right here. The outline of this pattern is the Kobe 8 Python. You see it again, outline again, or, excuse me, right there again and you just see those blotches so those blotches are actually the kobe 8 python as you saw in the picture then you get to the tongue the tongue tries to be sneaky but it's not it's actually the kobe 8 black history month on the tongue right here and then that's basically the only thing from the black history month is right here you see kobe right here on the lace loop and then when you get to the inner you get the unreleased Asian only release um, Firework 8 Kobe that only released um, in their Asia accounts for Nike and China. Just a European release only. It was never released in the United States. It's a pretty cool colorway too, as you can see in the picture. Um, but basically, that's what makes up the Kobe 8 in the inside for the what the Kobe. The colorway I'm thinking that they predominantly use was the green camo Kobe. As you can tell, the swoosh and the midsole. I forgot to put that in. Now the shoe predominantly uses a blue with an with the kind of a reddish orange swoosh right here. Basically, they use the Blitz Kobe 8 colorway and they just made it look even cooler with the what the Kobe. As you can see, the pattern I'm thinking is just the Easter again, the Easter kind of hidden in here, um, the Easter again with the snake pattern, and basically I'm thinking they use a little bit of the Christmas right there, you see it, 
but mostly it's the Easter and the Python pattern. As you get into the heel cup, it doesn't have the Kobe logo like the right shoe has. Now the Kobe 8 has always used the Kobe logo on all their shoes except one Kobe, which is the Mom Mercurial. As you can see in the picture, doesn't use it. And as you can see in the picture, also displays this Nike 3M on the side right here. Um, so I like how Nike really incorporated that. That's really actually cool, like a throwback Nike on the side, which is 3M, which means when the light hits it, it reflects. There's two more sneakers that I did not mention. Right here on the purple is supposed to be the purple platinum uh, sneaker. You see it on the midsole. And then you see it again on this arch right here, the purple Kobe. Um, as you can see on the heel cup, like when the light hits it, it's actually kind of purplish. So you can't see it in the in the camera, but I can see it with my naked eye. Like you gotta see it to to really look at it. But it kind of like has that like purple look when the light hits it. So metallic purple look, kind of I guess to kind of resemble that purple platinum Kobe. Last but not least, on the tongue, it's got the same color as the purple platinum Kobe, or just inspired by the purple purple platinum Kobe. The last but not least. On the logo, it sports the same logo again as the extraterrestrial Area 72 sneaker. And again, in the inside, you see the snake with the planet from the extraterrestrial sneaker. My opinion on these shoes is they're crack cocaine, and I just love them, man. I really like them. They're really comfortable. They feature like an insole that has a like air unit in them and see how thick this like thing is it's pretty cool and it's kind of have that little like like little air pocket right there that also incorporates in the insole so when you're buying nike products you know you're getting quality um i can't say that the jordans the quality is on point with these but the new technology basketball shoes you get great technology and they're very comfortable can't say nothing more than this sneaker other than it's just an eye turner catches eyes um and it's just different it's just different and that's why i really got them because i like different things my personality is different so i like to have sneakers that make me stand out so yeah guys basically these are the what the kobe eights i hope you guys enjoyed my review i hope you guys enjoyed me deciphering the kicks and whatnot shout out to brenda shout out to shamaya shout out to everybody that's always showed me support over the years and please keep showing me support i got some more videos to drop i got an unreleased footage of me and brenda reviewing the area 72 kobe's that i caught for her coming back almost a year also watch out for my girlfriend she's coming up on sneakers and i just want to review her sneakers because she's got like at least 20 25 pairs of sneakers in her collection and if you haven't seen them you gotta see them because they're just phenomenal she's got an amazing collection so guys thanks for watching thanks please subscribe please keep watching my blog i will be posting stuff and this is a blog exclusive is my uh, kobe 8 review so thanks guys thanks for watching and have a nice day